So good morning and welcome to our ribbon cutting ceremony for the solar panels. So I am incredibly grateful to be able to stand here with you to mark another special moment for um, the Ruben Hoare Library. It wasn't too long ago that we opened the doors to the new building and now it's my sincere pleasure to welcome you all to our ribbon cutting ceremony to celebrate the addition of solar panels to our library. Uh, sustainability is a core value for libraries. With thousands of materials to borrow, as well as shared community meeting spaces and resources, libraries are grounded in practices that are environmentally sound, economically impactful, and socially equi equitable. In many ways, libraries lead by example when taking steps to reduce their environmental footprint. The new Ruben Hoare Library building was designed with many features that reduce energy consumption. The addition of solar panel array further showcases the impact green energy will have on Littleton, both environmentally and economically. The library's energy consumption has seen a marked increase, decrease since the solar panels were turned on at the end of March. Definitely a decrease. Um, for example, energy usage in May 2023 was about 50% lower than it was in May 2022. This will translate into financial savings for the town, estimated to be around $6,000 a year. There is a digital display inside that, where you can view the solar panels in use in production um, each time you visit the library. So on behalf of the Board of Library Trustees, we extend our sincere gratitude for Senator Eldridge's um, leadership in securing the state funding in solar panels, as well as um, Representative Arciero. We also recognize Mark Rombacher, Sam Alvarez, Vertex, and Brian Fors for all of their efforts to bring both the building and the solar panel projects here to Littleton. We thank you LCTV for recording today and to Light and Water for providing ongoing data support as the library works to further reduce our energy usage. We would also like to thank each of you for taking time out of your day today. The library is grateful for your generous and ongoing support. Without all of our collaborative efforts as a community, the building and the solar panel project would not have been possible. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Senator Eldridge up to the podium to speak. Well, thank you so much, Katrina, and good morning, everyone, and just so wonderful to have this celebration of the ribbon cutting of the solar panels here at the Ruben Hoare Library, uh, one of the proudest projects that I've, I've worked on. And, and first, I just want to say uh, to, to Littleton residents is, is just uh, how wonderful this library is. I was, I was uh, saying just a moment before that uh, when my staff are, are in between events, they come to this library to, to do their work. Um, because it's such a beautiful library, it's so welcoming, you have beautiful light, uh, just terrific staff and, and wonderful resources here, and it, and it really is such a jewel. I know that for decades people in Littleton uh, worked on, on building this library. So it's, it's such a welcoming place, and what better place to have solar panels to send a message about the sort of the duty, the civic responsibility for every Littleton resident and really every Massachusetts resident to do their part uh, to combat global warming and, and to meet our carbon emission reductions goals. So I was very pleased uh, when then, uh, I think library trustee, Mark Rombacher, was that when you were on the trustee? Uh, remember the trustees, Mark? Yep, uh, before you be, uh, joined the select board, reached out to me over two years ago and said, you know, looking at the budget process where myself, Representative Arciero are, are able to secure earmarks, is would it be possible to secure funding to purchase the solar panels uh, to put up here at the library. So that was over two years ago. Uh, we had a great conversation about that. Um, you know, worked, to, worked with Littleton Electric Light, which is an incredible partner here with Littleton, um, to figure out how to make it work. And then I was proud in the FY22 budget, so two years ago, uh, to, put it into, to put it into the budget for $110,000 to purchase these 96 solar panels. I know it was quite a process to get them put up, uh, there were supply chain issues. I think at one point the panels were, what, in, in South Carolina or something? Uh, for, for, for some extended time, obviously you had the pandemic challenges, uh, but to get it up, to, to get it connected, and to be able to walk into the library now and see the daily uh, input of these solar panels in terms of delivering clean energy, not just to the Littleton Library, but, but to the grid and, and through Littleton Electric Light. So it's a tremendous partnership. My understanding in talking to Katrina is that um, with the averages out, with you know uh, 
win winter days, winter season, summer season, the average is about 150 kilowatt hours of clean energy of solar power per day. Um, so that's that's fantastic. And as, as Katrina highlighted, you know, that is not only saving Littleton money uh, and delivering clean energy to Littleton, but it's also making sure that we're doing the right thing, right? We, we passed last session two uh, major climate laws, arguably the strongest climate laws uh, in the country. We passed the 2050 roadmap law, and then we passed an act driving offshore wind and clean energy forward. You know, those are laws that are challenging and really requiring every community to do their part uh, to meet uh, their carbon emissions reductions goals and, and how we make sure to move to make sure that every community and every every building, every every structure is powered by clean energy, especially solar. So I want to thank, in addition to Mark, um, all of the, the library trustees, uh, the friends of the Ruben Hoare Library, the incredible staff, uh, the select board, and we, I know we have many select board members here um, for this incredible partnership. Um, of course, in, in, uh, in, and I always appreciate the advocacy by Littleton Select Board members, municipal officials, just got the request last week now that the Senior Center is moving forward uh, for funding to put solar panels on the Senior Center, which will be built right next to the library. So I'll be working on that next project, and I think it really shows the vision that Littleton officials have. Um, this is the first project I've done to put solar panels on a library, so very proud of that. Uh, we really need to spread this throughout the Commonwealth and throughout the district I represent. So thanks everyone for being here. It's wonderful to see so many people here that worked so hard, again, for years, for decades on building this library and for the town's commitment uh, to clean energy and making sure that future generations have a world we can live in. Thank you so much and I'm so excited to be here with you. Uh, we will next welcome Mark Rombacher, member of the select board, to, for some comments. So thank you everyone for being here. Um, thanks to Senator Eldridge and Representative Arcier for helping make the solar panels a reality. Um, these panels were actually designed originally on the building when we uh, were going for the grants and everything, but they were actually removed as um, originally for cost uh, savings. And thanks to the uh, funding from Eldridge and Arciero, we could put them back in. Um, and I'm very proud we could do that, so thank you. I also wanted to thank the Littleton Electric Department. Um, the Littleton enjoys some of the lowest ra electric rates in the state. The town benefits from these rates, but the solar panels will decrease the energy bill for the library by thousands of dollars per year. Solar panels help offset the consumption during peak hours. Uh, so Littleton Electric will have to use their peak generation less. Peak, peak shaving helps lower the cost in stabilizing our power usage. Solar panels combined with other saving, energy savings elements make the library a showcase for the Littleton working towards a greener future. The library is just the first step. We should add solar panels to all of our municipal buildings. The Shattuck Street, the schools, all of these uh, should have solar panels going forward. We should make, encourage residents to add solar on their homes. This saves re residents money, but also makes Littleton a greener community. Thank you for everyone for coming out and so showing your support for the wonderful library. Thanks again to Senator Eldridge and Representative Arcier for securing the funding for what I hope is the first of many solar initiatives in town. Thank you. Next up is Sam Alvarez, library director. Thank you everybody for coming today. Uh, thank you Senator Eldridge for your um, dedication to the library and for uh, your help with uh, obtaining the solar panels as well as Representative Arciero. Uh, thank you to the board, um, the select board, the library trustees, Mark and um, LELWD and thank you everyone for coming today. So it's great pleasure to, and excitement that I stand before you to celebrate our remarkable milestone in our community's commitment to sustainability. Uh, we gather here to um, to witness the ribbon cutting for our new solar panels, and I thank you very much. Um, as you know, libraries have always been the heart and soul of communities, serving as beacons of knowledge and learning and cultural exchange, and they have been instrumental in empowering generations by providing access to books, resources, and safe space for intellectual exploration. So today's challenges call us to think beyond our traditional roles in libraries, and we have to adapt 
to embrace those um, new practices, and these solar panels will help us to do that. Um, Moreover, these solar panels will align perfectly with the fundamental principles of libraries, access and inclusive, inclusivity. By investing in solar energy, we're ensuring that our library remains accessible to all, regardless of socio socioeconomic status and the fluctuations of energy costs. Um, the savings generated by these panels can be channeled back into expanding our collection. Uh, we'll increase educational opportunities. We'll curate our collection to um, help educate the public about solar panels. And we can also bring in the schools and um, the public to learn about the solar panels and how um, energy is being saved. So um, furthermore, we can collaborate with local schools, as I said. And by partnering, partnering with educators, we can bring students of all ages to the libraries for field trips, workshops, and lectures that focus on solar energy. Um, together, we can cultivate a community that is well informed about solar power, power and equipped to embrace a future embraced by clean, sustainable energy sources. So, I want to thank you all again, and um, thank you for uh, coming to the library today. Thanks. Bye. And last of our list today, but certainly not least, is Sarah Rombacher, who not only is one of our dedicated friends of the Ruben Hoare Library, but she is the current chair of the Sustainability Committee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The sunshine is awesome, right? <laughs> As a longtime member of both the Friends of the Ruben Hoare Library and the Littleton Sustainability Committee, I am thrilled to witness the enhancement of our new library building with the addition of these solar panels. It's rem a remarkable achievement that showcases the power of collaboration between committees, government bodies, and our community. I believe this is successful coordination can serve as a model for future projects. As I was preparing for this, I learned that actually on June 20th, 1979, almost 44 years ago, President Jimmy Carter spoke at the dedication of 32 solar hot water panels on the roof of the White House. He said, a generation from now, this solar heater can either be a curiosity, a museum piece, an example of a road not taken, or it can be just a small part of one of the greatest and most exciting adventures ever undertaken by the American people harnessing the power of the sun to enrich our lives. So here we are today, dedicating our own solar panels that will harness the sun's energy to enrich our lives. I firmly believe that our dedication today sets a model for future clean energy pro projects here in town. I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to Senator Eldridge and Representative Arciero for their invaluable support in making this project a reality. Senator Eldridge's unwavering focus on sustainability has been instrumental in driving so many positive changes. Thank you to the many people who put the pieces together to make this project happen. These panels will not only power the library, but also power our community to work together as we continue on the path towards a sustainable future. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our speakers lineup for today. But at this point in time, we're going to take the ribbon cutting, the big scissors, and hopefully take a picture in front of the solar panels. So we need to shift our group <laughs> for the photo over there. <laughs> One, two, three. Woo!